Welcome. This is the Global Summit House Podcast. Catch power interviews and discussions with influential, inspiring, and powerful people. Explore what's possible by tuning into this podcast with our all new The Writer's Project episodes, featuring one of the world's most inspired thinkers and writers. Visit our website at www.globalsummithouse.com. Let's return to This Week in America. Here's your host, Rick Bratton. Welcome back, everybody, coast to coast. This Week in America. Discover the force that governs the universe and how it works in the critically acclaimed Transcend by Ed Vergara, examining not only matter, space, and time, but also the power of three in other forms. Transcend focus on, focuses on matters of love, darkness, and evil, the power of science, and the energy of divine love. Ed shares authentic personal stories and anecdotes that will reveal how to transcend, penetrate the celestial universe, and also connect with your guardian angels. Ed has always distinguished himself for his dedication to science, art, universal history. His excellent professional training has led him to be a specialist in history, urban planning, architecture, construction, an expert in health and safety in construction, lectures throughout the United States and Latin America. Ed says that understanding immutable spiritual principles has been the foundation of the greatest discoveries throughout time. Ed Vergara, author of Transcend the Three Elements, is our guest from Las Vegas via Skype on This Week in America. Ed, welcome to the program. It's great to have you with us. It's my pleasure to be here and having this opportunity to talk to you, Rick. It's a real pleasure for me. Well, I'm taking notes as we go. I'm going to learn something as we do this program today. So I'm really excited about having this opportunity. I mentioned your background. You've got such a distinguished professional career. And I understand this is like three books you've written so far. What inspired you to write? Because you're a very talented author. The, you know, actually through a little bit of tragedy and, and drama with uh, some of my ancestor and close family and real good friends that uh, they die too early and unexpectedly and tragically. So, you know, after I went through, you go through all the time that you go to school and then you go to college and you are getting this knowledge. In this particular case, it was the architectural knowledge and a little bit of psychology. And, but that really did not give me no answers about my questions of why these people so yes. close to me live so early and then you know life and death so one day i decide to go with just my car and the car full of gas and one gallon of water to reach a summit of a mountain i sleep over there and I contemplate the stars and apparently nothing happened more than the experience, you know, to be with nature and with the universe. And from there, many things start happening to me that uh, were really exciting. And then past like 30 years after I have another time looking at the sky and the stars and suddenly all my notes that I have were alive and I start writing and that uh, I write the, the first book and it's a little yes. bit of my biography and uh, and uh, exploring you know our existence and uh, how sometimes some people go so early you know to the next dimension yes why sometimes other ones we stay so 
basically that are huge big questions, you know, life and death. So it was a moment that when I contact nature and the stars that impulse me to start writing. You know, and, and you've helped so many people in reading the reviews. You've done such an excellent job in reaching out to, to people because everybody has, has questions. You went looking for the answers, and you provide so many of those for us. I love the title of the name, of the, the title of the book. It's Transcend the Three Elements by Edward Gara, our guest on the program. Book available at, at Amazon, Barnes & Noble, the usual places. If you go to our website, you'll be able to link on directly and get that information transcend so often a title doesn't really reflect what's in the book transcend really does how did you come up with the title transcend for this book you know because uh, transcend means to go beyond and above the limits established by mankind you know? that means to try to reach for eternal values universal principles that go beyond the three elements, matter, space, and time, that go even beyond the three elements of human power, politics, religion, and economics. You know, and these natural principles of the universe, they're eternal, intangible, and immutable. This principle reveal the essence of the creator and uh, they give us f the foundation that uh, govern the states of consciousness of humankind you know and yes. actually our consciousness kind of govern our way to act the subtitle is The Three Elements, and you, you touched on that briefly there. Can you explain more about the discovery, your discovery, of, of the three elements? You know, uh, to be able to exist, you know, we need to have the coexistence of matter, space, and time. And, uh, but it uh, the three elements, even the number three, is a, a foundation and connection of uh, everything in the universe. But uh, the three, this number three, you know, it is manifested through nature, universe, and divine energy. When we talk to matter, you know, matter manifests like a gas, like a liquid, like a solid. We are composed by a spirit, mind, and body. You know, the three, you know, principles and eternal values are faith, hope, and love. We go through birth, life, span, and death. What is the final transformation? We have dreams. We have time and we have eternity. As I mentioned, we have the physical side, we have the mental side, we have the spiritual side. So I start kind of searching and examining the scientific and the spiritual sides of everything, including the ego, the consciousness, the unconsciousness, and how to connect, you know, to the supreme universal energy. And uh, the books focus too in matters of faith, darkness, the power of silence, the energy of divine love, and every human have permanent access to this dynamic divine energy that is always in movement never is static and uh, it's always something new to discover but the three elements manifest in our reality in so many different ways but 
matter space of time need to coexist to be able to exist yes and that <laughs> that number three comes up so often as as you're talking there with us is ed vergara that's v is in victor e-r-g-a-r-a the book is Transcend the Three Elements. You'll find it at Amazon, Barnes & Noble, all the usual places. And uh, you'll be able to track down uh, Ed and uh, this book and his other books by going to our website, thisweekinamerica.us. Being one of the important themes that you touch on in Transcend is how the concepts of creation, nature, and science support each other. And that's that's fascinating. Talk about that. Right. I will show you because, you know, the the Bible is so much wisdom there, but uh, we need to take it as a revelation, not, not as a dogma, but at the same time, reveal you many things. And when I was reading, and I will show you this, when I was reading, this is the first verse of the Bible. In the beginning, that means time, God created the heavens, that mean space, and the air, that mean matter. I can go a little deeper into that, but uh, you know, without a space, if we don't have a space, we cannot create matter. And with a time frame, we cannot even exist. So it's so many, you know, matter, manifest on three three ways the manifestation of, of matter I, I already mentioned solid liquid and gas and then the space is infinite but we can only measure the space through you know length width and height and when we get into time time is composed but three phases, the past, the present, and the future. So as we get deeper into this, that's what I explain all the relationships of the three elements in different manifestations and how even, you know, when you go to the scriptures or books, you know, that are really deep in nature and in the universe, you always will find that we need matter, we need the space, we need time. And that is the happened to be the first verse in the Bible. It's so fascinating. The book is Transcend the Three Elements by Ed Vergara, our, our guest on the program. So much in the book. I would highly recommend this. And you can take this information and, and, and adapt it to your life. And you'll see amazing consequences, uh, success stories. In, in, as people have that have read the book, it's amazing how, how it has been able to touch lives of, of so many people. There are so many meaningful quotes in Transcend. I'm reading through and I've got this one, this one, and all of a sudden I got like 73 different uh, different quotes that I feel are important. What would you say is, is one of the most meaningful quotes of Transcend? If someone was going to say, okay, Ed, you've got 30 seconds to explain the book to me. Uh, what's important? What, what quote, and that's unfair to do that, and I'm not going to do that to you, but what what quote would you use that you think is, is meaningful? You know, it's the secret is inside of you. You can create your world with your words. You are framing your reality every day, with every action, with everything that you are doing. You are literally what you think of yourself. Your beliefs are not made of realities. Rather, your reality is being formed every day by your beliefs, thoughts, and words manifest intentions in your words and become the author of reality you know those are some that i had at the top of, of top of my list the secret is inside of you you can create your world with your words and you are framing your reality every day and that that's really broken down and if we implement the principles you're talking about we can find that can't we this is a you know, and that is manifested and when you are planting, you know, any anything on uh, earth, as you 
put a seed and you put water, you are creating that, you know, tree of, of, of apples, of uh, oranges. So the same way, we are creating our reality every day with what with our thoughts, with our actions. And uh, it's uh, the best is that you can create that reality. The book is Transcend the Three Elements, Ed Vergara, V-E-G-A-R-A is the author, and our, our guest on the program, a video version of the program, of course, available on our YouTube channel. If you go to thisweekinamerica.us, click on the video icon, you'll be able to watch uh, our video interview with Ed coming to us from Las Vegas. Uh, the book is marketed by Global Summit House, a publishing and marketing company that caters to the author's needs, and it's such a pleasure to have Ed with us on the program. Time going by so quickly, I've got many more things I want to talk about. So I, I'm going to keep going here. Let's talk about out of the three elements, time, of course, is one of them. Uh, please, if you would, please explain more about the concept. I'm thinking about how you can expand upon it if, as you do in the third chapter of the book, The Revelation of the Mystery of Time. And I say this because we all struggle with time. And this chapter is so important. Talk about, uh, briefly summarize what you talk about in chapter three. You know, it's a time is one of the most valuable treasures that we have in our life yes. because it's limited. We should never mourn or, or, or be past or worry about the future because that's how we contaminate, how we pollute our present. And basically, we can even destroy it. And uh, the how we manage time, not just superficial, but with more consciousness, is a, is a really important. And I have a little, uh, it's not necessarily a poem, but it's talk about moments and the, import, the importance of the now and how is the only thing that really exists is the now. And, and you know, each moment, reveals hidden treasures. In reality, we live each moment, doesn't matter how extraordinary or hurtful they are, we cannot retain them. You can only keep them in your memories. Doesn't matter how sad or happy the present moment is, we cannot hold them. We can just enjoy that particular moment. Doesn't matter how much you desire that sublime moments in the future, you cannot hold it forever. Life and time are in constant movement. Moments are the only thing we perceive. Moments are the only thing we remember. Moments are the only thing we live. In our mind, we are always anxious to a stop time, but like a current in a waterfall, we can only enjoy it, that beauty and the beauty of the movement, and we cannot stop it. Each moment contains the eternal present. We must live with gratitude and gratefulness. That's the only way that we fulfill achievement. We can produce anything that we want. Even money can return, but we can never get back time. You know, it's so interesting because so many of us, what's really elusive in our lives is time. We spend the present worried about what's happened and looking for the future. We're sort of, I think, some of us more in the future than actually in the present. You sort of think sometimes maybe I ought to stop, slow down and really appreciate and show gratitude for, for what I have. Uh, Ed's book is transcend the three elements. I mentioned in the beginning that you will also connect with your guardian angels. And I'm sure some people were good. were thinking, okay, I really want to hear what that's all about. You talk a lot about angels in the book. How do you connect with them? Tell us more about this, uh, this concept. You know, I, I appreciate that question, and actually, I will respond the best I can, but uh, 
through accidents that I can, that unbelievable, nothing really happened to me. And in the first book, I described seven of them and how miraculously nothing happened to me. At the moment that the situations happen, I really do not have no consciousness of my perception was not that good. But at the time was, you know, it's something that you start feeling the presence of the angels, you know. Yes. How how to connect with them? You know, it's it's something completely personal. I don't have a recipe, you know. It's <laughs> kind of acknowledging that this is a spiritual world out there that even the untouchable have more power than the material and touchable, you know. And then little by little you start kind of going to the gym, you know, and, and, and uh, sometimes I listen a little voice that says, stop as I driving or go right or go left. Seems like that, you know, but I know that they exist because if not, I will not be here. <laughs> yes, and, uh, yes. And I know that everybody has it, you understand? I am not better than anyone. I know that everybody has it, but if we don't choose to develop that uh, quality, it's, it's, uh, goes through life, and you ever know that that exists. Well, in your book, you talk about developing and connecting with your guardian angels. The book is Transcend the Three Elements. Ed Vergara, our guest on the program. A couple minutes left. I want to be concerned about this because everybody's into personal development. What, what do you feel is the most important factor involved in our personal development? What, what should we take away from the book that's going to help us? You know, I talk a lot about our brain, our mind. You know that the left side is the logic, the analysis, the precision, the control, the structure basically decide that do not want to take risk. The right side is the creative side, the intuition, the perception, the imagination, possibilities, and that side contemplate risk. So we putting things together as the present world today, we are, our body is the hardware. That's right. Our mind is our software and our spirit is the connection with the source of divine power the machine that creates everything is our mind everything starts with a thought a thought is like a seed you know and and you need to update upgrade Every software today, you know, after oh, yes. a few weeks or months before the software of your computer will not work anymore. Yep. <laughs> How about up upgrading the software of our mind, you know, to do a complete rewire, as I mentioned, gratefulness and thankfulness are a great tool. I call it inner engineering discovering the interior what is inside of us we project and will be the same outside of us like for example you know if you don't have peace in your heart you will see outside like in a really un unpeaceful world so the, 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 the outside is just the reflection of, of our inside. But do we have a lot of power in our mind and spirit to transform reality? You know, it's so important to connect with the source of divine yes. power 
through gratefulness and thankfulness. We've got a couple of minutes left. In your book, you talk about the importance of visualization and imagination. I want to talk about that because you're involved professionally with uh, with professions that involve visualization and imagination, urban planning, architecture, construction. What is why is that so important and the roles of visualization and uh, and imagination to develop one's full potential? You, you, you touch exactly, you know, the, the, the song, the trick so well, is like, I stumbled into my career, you know, the architectural design, and if I don't imagine the floor plan, the elevations, you know, the three-dimensional aspect of a building, I cannot draw it, you know. First is a thought, then is the image, and then uh, you can create it, and finally you can materialize that image that you have in your mind. But if you do not, if you do not use your mind, the creative side of your mind, and 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 you do not exercise that aspect of your of your software. <laughs> yes. Because the, yes. Because the hard work <laughs> eventually it, it's gonna be gone, you know. So it's really important that we understand that our mind is so powerful. Our mind and our soul can make us a slave or free. You know, we, we we need to learn how to visualize because when you put something into image. That means that that image can be your, from your mind to matter. That image can become something material. That image can become reality. And that's the importance of visualization. If you don't have the thoughts and you don't have the image, nothing is going to happen. Yes. Well, I, I'm going to take one more question here, and this has been such a fascinating conversation. The book is Transcend. How can we transform the thoughts into material reality? And I guess that sort of sums up what we've been talking about here on the program today. The, the thoughts that we have, okay, now we have the thoughts. We understand what the thoughts are all about. How do we actually transform that into material reality so, they, so we actually implement them in our lives? As I was mentioning our mind, our mind actually is the factory of reality. And the universe is energy. Our thoughts can transform the concentration of that energy, creating reality and eventually creating matter. At the core of our being, we are one with the planet Earth, the universe, and the omnipresent of the Most High. Reality is spiritual, physical, and psychological. And the key factor is focus. You know, mm, okay. the, short, the shortest distance between a thought and an achievement is how you can put your focus, your concentration, into that subject, into that goal, the more focused you are, the easier and better that that thought that you imagine will become reality. And it's a, it's a lot of our, the power of our mind with the power of the universe becoming one. And this has been so much fun. We've covered so much ground, and there's so much more in the book, Transcend. The book is marketed by Global Summit House, a publishing and marketing company that caters to the author's needs. Again, the author is Ed Vergara. If you're Googling, that's V as in Victor, E-R-G-A-R-A, -A, Ed Vergara. 
Transcend the Three Elements. You'll find it at Amazon, Barnes & Noble, all of the usual places. You can link onto our website to get more information, video of the program available on our YouTube channel, This Week in America. Ed, has been a pleasure. I learned something on the program today. I feel like you should send me a bill for everything that you told me here today. It's like going back to school for half an hour. <laughs> Thank you so much for being with us on the program. Hopefully, we'll have a chance to do this again. It's been fun. Thank you for taking the time to join us. I really appreciate the time with you. I, it's my pleasure, and I really grateful, as I mentioned, that's the key of transcending. <laughs> so, yes. hopefully, some way, somehow, we keep in touch and uh, have a great day. My desires is that you can get richer and, and, and your mind can you know, touch the stars. Well, you're pointing me in that direction, and this is this is good. You're giving me that direction to follow this. The book, again, is Transcend the Three Elements by Ed Vergara. You'll find information on our website, thisweekinamerica.us. We're back on today's program right after these messages. You're listening to This Week in America with Rick Bratton. More after this. You've reached the end of another episode of the Global Summit House podcast. Subscribe to our podcast on Spotify, Podbean, iHeartRadio, iTunes, or Google Play. Connect with us at GlobalSummitHouse.com. See you on the next episode.